Sorry, I'm so messy. Hey, we're Colin and Meg, and along with our two daughters, we are currently traveling the world, finding beautiful places, one country at a time. This is our last video from our time in Vietnam, but I promise you it's a good one. We started our time here in Hoi An, which is also known as the City of Lanterns. Then we boarded a cruise ship and sailed through the world famous Ha Long Bay, and a few days later spent the night in this magical place way up in the mountains. Our train rides and sleeper bus adventures took us all around this country and it's safe to say we're big fans. <laughs> so today we're doing something that we don't normally do, but I think it's very quintessential to travel. I'm talking about coffee. Okay, so if we're friends in real life, you would know this. We love coffee. Lattes, flat whites, fancy coffee, instant coffee, iced coffee, iced coffee from 7-Eleven, you name it, we probably like it. So with only a few days left in this country, it would be a great, great shame if we did not highlight how amazing the coffee culture is here. So today, we're here at the Nina Coffee Shop here in the old quarter of Hanoi and we're gonna be having a coffee class. What I have in my hands is a very special drink. This is Vietnamese egg coffee. Now, it's all over Vietnam, but it started here in this city of Hanoi. I know, I know, eggs and coffee, why not milk? We're gonna tell you why and learn from a local barista how to make egg coffee from its traditional recipe. Follow along. We just got here, our instructor brought us a welcome drink that is delicious, and he brought up all of the tools and ingredients, and we've got a whole bunch of eggs <laughs> right next to us. So I'm excited to learn more, specifically how to make egg coffee, because believe it or not, we've been in Vietnam for an entire month, and I've yet to have egg coffee. I don't know how I made it this long, but I'm excited to learn how to make it and try it for the first time. Are you are you our teacher today? Yeah, I will teach you. It's very sour. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. robot style we have to make the feel stronger, uh, a little bit. So this was the original recipe. The original. Original from Mr. Gam. Yeah, Mr. Gam. Now. <laughs> Come on, Meg. I don't want to go over it. A little bit more? Yes. Okay. Espresso medium fine grinds. We put it into this filter and everything has been measured, weighted out. We initially poured some water to let it bloom so the flavors come out. And then now we put in water to let the oils come out for the drink itself. Do I have to put it all the way to the top or is 45 okay? Yeah, it's 45 so okay. one more. Okay. This is all this is all down to numbers. Crazy. What we're trying today is actually egg coffee from Hanoi. Originated here because in 19 in the 19 in 19 in the 1950s um, Vietnam was still very poor and people could not afford fat milk to make lattes and cappuccinos. And so a local guy, a local hero, Vietnam legend, his name is Mr. Giam, he thought of a way to use eggs and use the egg yolk to replace the fat of the milk. So that is why we're here today. 10 grams of sugar cane. Oh, that adds up fast. Wow, that does not look like a lot, no? No. All right, so we got sugar. A little sugar, a little green bean powder like this, it's okay. Green bean powder. Yes. So white wine, or you can use vanilla for kids, or you can use whiskey for fun, makes the eggs more flavorful. So how much of this do we Three drops. Three drops? Yes. Oh gosh. It's okay. It's okay. One more. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. Is that good? Yeah, it's a good right now. Okay. So one egg coffee is three egg yolks? Yes! Wow! 
You don't know, right? You it's like so cookie. many eggs. Sorry, I'm so messy. It's okay. It's, I have pepper here and have a lot of uh, chicken egg inside my. People bed. are yelling at me. It's okay. <laughs> You can make 40 cups. One time. In how many minutes? Yeah, it's uh, 50 minutes for the <laughs> half hour, 40 cups. <laughs> oh gosh. This one, sometimes it's very quick. Yeah. Sometimes it's uh, take a little, a little time. I'll watch you. It's maximum power here. Yeah. I'm going to try to cook like this. Okay. It's creamy like this. It feels like it's been like five minutes of, of blending. It's not done right now. It's, it's okay. Okay. Take things to go down very slowly. Okay. Yeah, that looks great. How about that? Really good. So that's just the yolk. Yeah. And the sugar. Yeah. And the powder. Yeah. And the rice wine. And five minutes oh, of blending. Cool. Okay. at the highest speed possible. Yeah. Delish. Yeah. And you want to make sure that when you're taking the blender out, he said you don't want it to be, you want it to be thick, yeah. like a cream. Like, more creamy? More creamy. Yes. Yeah. And the color yeah. will change like this. Yeah. And the color has to change to this. That's so Mr. Gyeong was the first barista in Hanoi. He would watch the other people make lattes, cappuccinos, and said, I need to do that too. But he didn't have a blender and he didn't have full fat milk. So he was doing this by hand in the 1950s. Respect. And as you can see, I've been doing this for two minutes and it's still very watery. Now it's same lap pad. Oh, look at that. Did I put the whole thing? Yeah, it's about 40 full lap, full cup. Full cup. Wow. Okay. Uh, I recommend for you one, the one way for yeah, enjoy this one. Mm -hmm. Take a little coffee and under this cup go up like this. Mm -hmm. A little, don't, 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 need, don't, need, don't need, don't need. You see the coffee in the mm -hmm. Now have me try this one. Okay. Wow, that looks like ice cream. It does look like ice cream. The coffee not too much beaten. Really good. You see? Yeah. Nice. It's like the, dessert. The bitten, it tastes like the dessert. Bitten, the bitten flavor from Robusta now don't, don't have any coffee. Uh -huh. Yeah, try. Get a spoonful of that. Yeah, I have a spoonful. It's okay. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It tastes like dessert. Wow. Yeah, it's like dessert. Yeah. You drink this in the morning? Yes, it's just only bad and only so cool. What a great day. People ring, people ring this one and do this breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. Enough, yeah. Enough, uh, yeah. Wow. Enough protein, enough fatty, enough sugar, caffeine, yeah. everything. Yeah. everything. All in one. one. Just breakfast in the To Hanoi, to Mr. Giang, and to Lin. <laughs> Cheers. Gosh. This is so good. Now we're gonna see Ling actually prepared for other customers. Here we go, we're going in the kitchen. So Ling can actually make 40 cups of egg coffee in 15 minutes. And here's how he normally prepares it for people. We get a behind the scenes view, let's go. So this is the one that Lin made. Um, it's actually different. He actually put condensed milk in this one because he said the young people, they don't like their Robusta. So he used Arabica beans, espresso instead of a filtered coffee. 
and he put a little sugar up. Well, you saw the video. This is the special one. Today's a good day, huh? Wow, that, that's a good coffee drink right there. As we were counting down the days to leaving Vietnam, there was one thing and one thing only that I wanted to take with me. So now we have this in our minds, in our hearts. We're gonna take this home and let everyone try the goodness of Vietnam. Cheers. Winning!